As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Shall we head there now? It would save us having to make the trip again. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Intuition, I suppose. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen many places? <sighs> How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here. I brought more of the money I owe you. I should have the remainder ready by our next meeting. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Not good will come of this. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Take another. 
allow any further harm to come to you. You have no right. I'm not Enough. Not bad, eh? Nice mug of muscle, man. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Now here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I hope I can best. count on you in a scrape. Took nary a moment. Now that we're here, what did you have in mind, Arisen? What is the meaning of this, Arisen? Come to test your wits. knows the child yet the reverse is far from true the child knows not the parent such is the parents due I am a lost child for kinship do I yearn so bring to me my parent that I might better learn and you claim this to be the parent I seek Indeed, you are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. Huzzah! You damn it! to test your wits love is as twin to madness they say they are bound fast as night is today so bring forth your most beloved to me that I might gauge the depth of your insanity is this your most beloved you bring before me Well, very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Surely not. Come to test your wits. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize and thence elude your ponderous demise. So, this is your prized possession, a most revealing choice. Do you consent to give it to me? 
knowing that it may never be returned. Well, well. Very good. That's the spirit. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in yon chest? Come to test your wits. Seeker's tokens are treasures indeed. Keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Ah, I see I needn't have worried. Well sought and well found. I trust it was a pleasant jaunt. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in your chest. Five riddles have I posed, and five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more, but I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth, all is in flux. And so, the time has come for me to fly. If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. But for now, I bid you farewell, dogged adventurer. Stone. With that in hand, we can leap from one end of the kingdom to another in a trice. Tis not an item to be squandered. Do watch where you're going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? After you were risen. It's an unexpected reunion. But a happy one. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness pawns can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control and, in time, will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. Hoi, friend! Have any time for me today? I dare say we're owed you another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation. For it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire 
of enduring my mother's codlet, and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. Tis proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. Tis something I obtained of my own will. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. Tis as you say. Shall we pay Miss Daphne another visit? I find myself wondering how the young lass fares. Allow me to guide you, Master. I know the person you're looking for. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah. Hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? We won't get far with naught to go on. We best ask around, see what we can find out. True enough. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church. As it draws from the river to make holy water, the water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though to sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. That's just what I was... I've no words left for you or anyone else. Suppose you're all right. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Let me get that. Malcolm. All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it. This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice... I fear I've much to attend to. Is 
Miss Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Shall we be off? We've a report to make. Vaults, eh? Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look, there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beast rooms. Truly? Right, though no definitive records remain. I've got a good feeling about this one. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. That's just what I was thinking. Feast your eyes on this! Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Over here! Come look! Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. It surely... Any scholar's dream. I knew it to be so. I lack information pertinent to this task. 
Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. He just senses. If aught feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Nought can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. This place is amazing. I knew I'd find something down here, but I never expected this. Nothing ever seems to happen around Oh, what does this say? The books ne'er seem to end. Who could have brought them here, I wonder? I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn than our party. I grant you lightning's fangs! I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Master! If you're carrying around anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. Perhaps it is time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider... better apprised of such matters. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. 
Have you found any of the items we discussed? Chance. Always a pleasure. It would seem we've a need to visit the palace. path leads not to our destination if you would prefer to explore I shall guide you another time the arisen is capricious indeed but don't despair we shall count upon your guidance when the time comes You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! you move along. Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, your majesty. Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. Twouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. It was never my intent to deceive you. I simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. Tis clear that we are allied in purpose. Word, you mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? 
Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest, but I've a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. I would appreciate your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. So, you've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage. Savage. 
have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Oh, -ho. then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Ah, they say the Arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, Tutsin, tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be Arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true Arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Escape? But why? Here? I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me. Does that ring any bells? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. I, this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Is it true you're the Arisen? That's what I've heard anyhow. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. The Arisen takes the crown here in Vermin, after all. The fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll learn the people's faith. <laughs> Good luck to you. Have you need of me? Pray, follow me.
The ingredients are plenty. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. That woman's taking advantage of us, she is. She knows full well we've nowhere else to turn. Will he truly be all right? Say, have I seen you around? Why are you risen? Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops, or make some up. Hoi, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Thanks so much. This will make all the difference. But with so many sick, I reckon the priest could use a bit more than this. If you happen to find some, will you bring it to me? Would you mind coming over here? Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't... Happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know tis perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, miasmite can be harvested from phantoms, monsters that wander the world at night. I think I get the idea.
Hoi, you risen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Now that's just splendid! Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. It's a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. Is that you? Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the gracious hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived, an unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Good for a laugh. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er do wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever. And now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better. That he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... S something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors? about the gracious hand. Come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 Oh, someone help me! Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? 
You'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend to. something for me. <clears throat> Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more hands to aid us. Good day, sir. I spend my days in quiet. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the Abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the Abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. I knew it to be so. I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? An unsettled mind begets an unsettled world. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. I'll carefully conserve my strength and in A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Hmm. I fear I've much to attend to. Beg pardon, sir, but this room is where our most severe cases convalesce. I must ask you not to disturb them, for your sake as much as theirs. So 
harder than living in Onyx. There's no telling what could happen if I lingered long.